For today's project, we're going to be building a custom cabinet. Uh, my sister-in-law asked me to build a cabinet to go above her toilet in her bathroom to hold toilet paper and towels and that kind of stuff. And uh, I've already cut the pieces. Should be pretty quick. Uh, let's take a look at it with what I designed on the computer. So this is the cabinet right here. She wanted a little shelf here to put a few things. Obviously, if I slide this out, you'll see the shelves in there, which will be adjustable. These doors, these cabinet doors will swing out, obviously. And here it is from the side view. Obviously, this red back will go against the wall. Should be able to hold what she needs. So let's get started. Since these shelves will be adjustable, I'm going to use the Craig jig for putting uh, the little holes so you can put the dowels to hold the shelf. This thing works out, it's very handy. When you move up, you just stick the pin in the hole. Doing one of the guides. Move on up. Now I'm attaching the brace for the bottom shelf. And the beauty of using these pocket holes is you won't be able to see them because I put them on the side that's going to go against the wall. So it'll hide that and make a very secure connection. So this is the back side of the cabinet and this cabinet will be surrounded by three walls one on this side the back side and the right side so i made this little lip here for this half inch piece of plywood to go and you won't see any seams top or bottom even though you wouldn't really see them anyways it's just nice to cover them up so let's hope for a good fit Perfect. Time to screw it down. So with this cabinet, obviously you don't want the side of the plywood to show because it doesn't look very good with these layers. So I'm going to use the roll of birch plywood that you just has some glue on the back 
and you just iron it on like this and then you trim the extra edge off and it hides that uh, ugly side and you can paint it and it looks a lot better. After you iron on the strip, you can use this little tool here to shave off the overlapping edge. Works pretty good. Now I'm making the cabinet doors. I've already cut the pieces and I routered a slot in here for the center board to go. And it'll just fit in like this. All the way around. And I'll use pocket holes to cinch it together. And it'll look real nice. Now I'm going to put on these these hinges that I uh, ordered off Amazon. They're just the slow close pocket hinge. And so I have the Craig jig that allows me to drill the hole quicker, more accurately, faster. So in the paper that came with the hinge, it says it needs a 20.5 millimeter spacing from the center of the hole to the edge of the door. So if I open up the manual from the Craig jig, it says put your settings on the three millimeter for 21 millimeters, which is closest to 20.5. So what I do is so three, three. When you go to drill the hole, you it's up to you where you want to space your, your hinge along the door. And I just chose five inches. So I marked five inches with this line from the bottom. And then I'm going to do five inches from the top for my top hinge. Luckily the, the jig has these uh, measurements here where you can line up the center and get it exactly where you need it to be. And these little spacers that we turn is what goes up against the edge of the door. So we just line it up on the line and you clamp it and then you have two drill bits. One uh, 
is just for drilling the pilot hole for the screw. And so you do one, two, and then the big drill bit that comes with the Craig jig that connects in here so you can drill the correct size hole for the uh, hinge. Once you finish drilling the hole out, you're left with the hole for the hinge and the two pilot holes for the screws, which make getting these tiny little screws in a lot easier. So the hinge fits in perfectly, just like that. And these screws go here. That's it. When you go to mount these on the cabinet, you just put a mark here where the bottom of the door needs to line up and you open the hinge and you put it on the edge of the cabinet. You drill a little pilot hole. And put the screw in. rinse and repeat. Once you finish the putting on the doors, you can go ahead and put in your shelf pins. 